Every now and then when I go on YouTube, I'll just type in Jehovah's Witnesses and see what the latest videos are floating around on that subject. And usually you will be confronted with videos where somebody films Jehovah's Witnesses calling on them or shows how they've chosen to deal with being having their home called on by uh, Jehovah's Witnesses. And usually these videos tend to be quite uh, confrontational or done in such a way that the witnesses are being mocked. Dealing with witnesses in that kind of way may give the person some kind of satisfaction, may make them feel as though they've made some kind of statement, but in the, in the, from the perspective of the Jehovah's Witness who is being confronted in that way, all it does is fuel their persecution complex. Um, and when I say persecution complex, I mean that if you are nasty to a Jehovah's Witness because of what they believe, regardless of the fact that they are invading your personal space, they're calling on your, on your home, they will interpret that as being persecution by Satan. And so basically by being nasty to them, you are reinforcing their indoctrination. It sounds crazy, but that's how it works. And trust me, as someone who has been in that situation, who has called on people and had them be very nasty to me, all it does is make you think, well, there you go, we must have the truth because we're being persecuted. Um, so that being said, what's the best thing to say to a Jehovah's Witness who calls on you? Well, it depends what your objectives are. If you want to get rid of Jehovah's Witnesses, if you want to try and make it so they don't call on you, the best way to do that is to ask to go on their do not call list. Yes, Jehovah's Witnesses have a do not call list, which means that if your house is included on this list, and in theory, witnesses won't call on you. In practice, how it works is that every now and then someone will forget and they will call on you anyway but then all you need to do is remind them that you're on the do not call list. So the thing to say to Jehovah's Witnesses who call, if you don't want them to call again, is I know you have a do not call list and I would like to be added to it. Is that okay? And probably you'll be greeted with some kind of um, confused looks. They'll, they'll, they'll be curious as to how you know about the do not call list but you don't have to answer any of their questions. You, they just need to tell you that they will put, put you on the do not call list. So be firm, stand your ground and say, very nice of you to call, but in future, I don't want you to call again. So please put my name on the do not call list. Is that okay? And they will basically have to agree to that. And you won't, uh, you, will, you will at least be called on less by Jehovah's Witnesses. What you shouldn't do um, to get rid of Jehovah's Witnesses because it won't work at all. Some people think is, oh, well, if I take the literature, if I take the magazines, that will shut them up, that will get rid of them. That is what you do if you want them to call on you more <laughs> because if you give them magazines, sorry, if they give you magazines or books and you accept it, they will think, well, here we have an interested person. And usually, um, when, when, a, when a witness has someone take the literature off them, they will aim to call back on that person at least um, every two weeks, possibly every week, depending on what it is you've taken. If it's just a leaflet, they, they might not be quite so um, motivated to call back on you, but if it's a book or magazines, they'll definitely want to call back on you and the aim will be to get you to start studying with them. So if you don't want that to happen, tell them that you want to go on the do not call list. And um, and by the way, I'm not I'm not telling I'm not doing this video with the aim of of stopping you from finding out what Jehovah's Witnesses believe. I am all about people knowing what Jehovah's Witnesses believe. Um, if you want to know their side, go to jw.org, but don't just read the publications that they want the public to see 
read the publications that they get their members to study at the Sunday meetings because that's where you get some of the really uh, disturbing material about shunning and um, the way they view um, people like me who disagree with them that kind of thing so don't just um, and the stuff that you receive on the doorstep by the way is very watered down very watered down um, it doesn't feature some of the strongest stuff that the the members will be um, will be studying so try to bear that in mind um, I think that's everything but yeah just try to be pleasant to Jehovah's Witnesses try to look upon them as being victims of a cult and remember that if you're nasty to them that only makes their indoctrination worse if you want to try and help them to kind of find out the truth about their beliefs I have actually created a PDF leaflet and I'll put a link in the description and if you feel so inclined by all means print out a few copies and have them by the door and you can try handing them to any witnesses who call you're welcome to try uh, but you should do so expecting them to uh, to turn you down they're there to give you literature not to receive it so I hope this video has been useful and thank you for watching <laughs>